before you thought I always looked like this. <laughs> As a new mom. <laughs> That's cute. She's a Mona Lisa. Hi guys. And welcome back to the channel. You must have seen something that you like because you're back. I see you. See you didn't subscribe though. Go ahead. Go ahead and do that now. So today we're gonna talk about all the postpartum stuff that I was not ready for and somebody could have warned me about so I'm gonna warn you first off you're gonna still look pregnant let's just jump on in there you're gonna push this baby out you're gonna think that you're gonna lose this weight just like instantly baby out body back snatch no I looked pregnant about five or six months for at least three weeks disturbing really disturbing by mother's day still had a pouch right now two months later still have a pouch but i mean it makes sense because i gained 20 pounds that was kind of average or what they want you to gain or whatever but my little girl was only six pounds nine ounces where's that other 13 pounds it's still with me you know i mean you lose some of it because it's like water weight and like uterus has to come out or shrink back down or whatever. But you have to work to get that off. But you can stay tuned for because you're going to watch me work and try to get my body back right. Because I, it's not okay for me, okay? It's not okay. I do have stretch marks. I'm not going to show you guys because I don't like them. Because it's all over my stomach. But... <clears throat> Oh, you're the cooties. Jesus. What's well, helped me through my stretch marks? How they do it? Bio oil. Listen, you see how much I've been used? It's not a game. At first, they were bad. They were terrible. I did take a picture of them because I was ashamed of them. But now, they're much better. Still a little bit ashamed, but... They're much better than they were. Try it out. I looked it up. And. You can barely see it with this ring light, honey. I looked it up and. Um, it's okay to use for babies and such. And. That means it's okay for me. So I'm always with my baby. But not right now. Because she's laying down asleep. But you know what I mean. Secondly, for postpartum, what I was not ready for, the uterus itself. Um, I'm gonna do this whole video about what I wasn't expecting with birth, so that's gonna be another video, but you have to pass the afterbirth, first of all. And then after that, the nurse like comes and touches your stomach, not even touch, they like palpate really hard really hard like press they press your stomach to see if your uterus is you know retaining fluid because that means you're bleeding out internally or whatever and making sure that it's going down in size but it hurts it hurts i was not ready for my uterus to hurt like that it it was bad speaking of uterus hurting the bleeding the bleeding afterwards Ridiculous. You wanna know how ridiculous it is? Hold on, hold on. They give you pads. I say to one. What is that? They give you What the is that? <laughs> they give you these pads, okay? And you're going to need them. Look, look how big this is. It's bigger than my head, and my head is pretty big, guys. It's pretty big. And you're gonna need them. I'm telling you, you're gonna need them for at least two days. At least two. I need them for like maybe three, because I end up bleeding for like two weeks and then spotting for like two and a half more. Listen, you're gonna bleed for a while, you're gonna hurt for a while. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna make it through this. It's gonna be okay. It is normal. 
mentally it's kind of taxing because it's like oh I didn't have a period for like nine months and now I'm having one for like a full month <laughs> but you're gonna get through it it was really irritating for me especially because you know I couldn't wear tampons or anything because the doctor really looked me in my face and was like I listen nothing goes in for six weeks nothing not a tampon nothing and I was just like what do you mean? And she's like, you're gonna bleed? You don't wanna put a tampon on or something? You can't. I was awestruck, okay? But these saved my life for a couple of days because you're gonna bleed a lot. Close to a whole lot. Like, you're gonna feel like most of your blood is coming out, okay? It's okay though. It'll be okay. Also, to go along with the pads, the hospital's gonna save your life, honey. Disposable underwear, the most comfortable underwear I've ever had on. You see how big they are and how stretchy? Oh my goodness. First of all, the pad has to go somewhere. Victoria's Secret who? That pad isn't about to fit in any boy shorts of mine. Maybe for yours, I, I don't judge. Listen, but these come in handy. They're gonna give you several, but ask for several more. That is the key. Ask for whatever you can get from the hospital, ask for it. It comes in a packet like this. As you can see, I saved the whole packet because they gave me two and I asked for another one. I actually didn't need these though. But I saved them just in case. Called comfort pants. And they're really comfortable. Let me tell you. Okay. So something else I was not ready for. Was after all that bleeding and discharge and after birth and gunk okay that comes out of you you cannot wipe not even while you're washing you don't wipe you want to know how you get clean a period bottle you want to know what a period bottle is because i didn't know a period bottle it's like a little okay hold on you pull this up actually like that. <laughs> you put water in it. Read that on. You pull this up. You aim it towards your parts and you squeeze. You squeeze, it squirts out, irrigates the area. Okay, you need this. You're gonna need this for at least two weeks, especially if you were like me and had to get stitches. You need this. This is how you get clean. Okay. Also, don't don't be using all kind of harsh soaps and stuff down there. You're still open. You're still open, guys. Come on. You, you don't want to lather the. <sighs> Something else that I was not ready for. The constipation. Actually, the first pee and poop. Period. Listen. It's gonna hurt. It's gonna burn. You're gonna wonder why. You're gonna be asking God for help. Okay. My first pee. She saved me. Okay. Perry saved me. Mama Perry saved me. Okay. She had to help me. Okay. Cause I needed some help. Cause I, I, it burns. Especially if you have stitches, it burns because it's your enough touching the, the stitches, the openness of your parts. It burns. You're just not sanitary, okay? It's gonna burn. It's gonna burn like lemon juice in a wound burn 
but it's okay though. You're gonna make it. I made it. I I screamed just a little bit, just a little bit, not enough to even wake up my boyfriend. Just a little bit, but Perry Bob was your friend. Miss Perry, Miss Perry. But the first poop. You think I'm kidding? Go through it. It's gonna feel like your insides are becoming your outsides, especially if you were like me and you had an epidural. I didn't know that it felt like that, okay? I had an epidural, I just felt pressure. That, that's basically all I felt. And I just kept pushing and it felt like I was pooping basically. So when I was pooping, I guess my body was just responding differently. I don't know. It just felt like I was trying to push everything out, but nothing was coming out. It was a mess. Milk of magnesia. Laxatives. You're going to need them. Water. You're going to need it. You need stool softener. You're going to need it. I didn't have a decent poop for about three weeks. <laughs> Do you know how upset I was? <laughs> not okay. It was not okay. <sighs> Glad I made it through that though. That was probably one of the worst parts of postpartum in my <laughs> in my eyes. <laughs> Whatever. Something else they don't tell you about that you, you probably want to know because I wanted to know and nobody told me. Breastfeeding is hard. It is uncomfortable at first. I thought I was doing something wrong, but no, alas, I was not. It's just your body's not using somebody just, you know, latching on to you and just going to town, I guess. I, I don't know, but it hurts. I'm gonna tell you that. It's not like a seven even on the pain scale, but it's just so uncomfortable. But there's things that you can do to help yourself out to help baby out to make it better I guess I mean what is going to save you your baby your nipples can you see that lanolin cream after the baby latches put some on there listen they're gonna get sore they're gonna get cracked they're gonna hurt, they're gonna ache. This helps. It really does. And it's not not safe for the baby. Does that make sense? It's safe for the baby. <laughs> it is safe for the baby. So, put this on there. Saliva is meant to break down tissue and stuff. That's why it's in your mouth. You know, it's used to break down your food. It's the first part of digestion. Do you want the first part of digestion on your nipples? Just sitting there on your nipples? <laughs> I'ma tell you, I did not have this. And my boobs started getting like, <laughs> my areola, should I say, started getting light skin where she latches. <laughs> started getting light skin, okay? It started like changing colors on me because they were breaking down because the little girl, she just, she ate a lot. She still eats a lot, but this helps. I promise you. Another thing. They gave me these at the hospital. They are gel pads. They help you. Help cool you down. You need these. They're gonna ache. They're gonna be sore. Actually, hold on. Is this the hospital one? This is the only one that I did not open, but I did use them a lot. They gave me about like four of them. You can use them for like three days at a time or something like that. Just put them in the refrigerator, pop them back on. But hold on. Okay. These are the ones that I bought from Bye Bye Baby. Um, they come with a little sleepy thing. So the heat or the cold doesn't touch your skin directly. And you just, you know. But 
these little jellies. You can put it in a microwave for a few seconds or put it in your refrigerator for a few minutes or put it in your freezer for like a minute or two so you can cool down or heat it up. You know, whatever helps your boobs feel better. They have the little, the little hole for your nip nip here. And just place it on there and just feel the comfort. You feel the comfort, okay? They help. I no longer use them. I may need them in the future, which is why I saved them. But my boobs are basically used to the little girl now, so I don't really need them as much. Really helpful at first. Let me tell you. You can also use a guard. <clears throat> Do I have to cooties? Like, what is going on in my throat today? I got this from a lactation consultant. I had to go before I went to my first doctor's appointment with the little girl. They were great. But you just pull this out. Well, can you see that? You pull this, these little wings out. You place it on the boot. Well, on the nipple, anyway. You let it go, it creates like a little suction thing. Yeah, they do latches. Milk comes out of, out of this. Yeah, milk comes out of these little things right here. Your boob is protected. This is the Medela brand. And they make all kind of sizes, depending on your nipples or boob shape and size. This saved me a couple of times when I was first breastfeeding. <laughs> While I was getting used to her, saved me, okay? Make sure that the size of it is good for the size of your baby's mouth. Because, ooh, hey bra strap. <laughs> because she or he can't like, you know, gag on it because their mouths are so little. Like you just trying to force this little plastic thing in there. Anyway, whatever. Something else is gonna help with your comfort. Let me get her right first. Let me get her right. Nursing bra. Basically, while you're at the hospital, you're gonna be in a gown anyway, and you may just, you know, nipples to the wind. Teach is on. But nursing bra, you just pop that right there. Pop that boob up right there, the boob boob right here. You know? Easy access for the baby. Do not be like me and pack actual outfits with the hospital. I don't know why I thought it was gonna be one of these like glamorous mothers who was just gonna like, wear, you know, jumpsuits and stuff. It's, it's 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 not realistic. You have to pop a boob out and you're all jumpsuited up. What you gonna do then? You're gonna just have to unzip and unfold and unsnap and unbutton and roll down and roll up let's not do it okay these are your friend it is now still my friend i just pop a little nursing pad in there it helps i have on one right now i tried to hide it but it's there see i have to have mine i don't want to leak everywhere guys Leaking. Okay, speaking of all the discomfort from the breastfeeding and hurting and such, uterine contractions, they're gonna happen. I don't know if they happen when you're not breastfeeding, but if you are, baby latches start suckling or whatever, you start letting down, you're gonna feel some pain in your uterine area. You're gonna have contractions. Why? I do not know. Is it normal? Yes. Did I know it was normal? No. Did I ask about it? No. Did I think I was falling apart? Yes. Did the doctor ask me about it? Yes. I told them. Yes. And it was like, oh yeah, that's normal. Oh, you couldn't have started with that when I told you that I wanted to breastfeed when you wanted to ask me questions earlier. You didn't want to say, oh, here's a warning about breastfeeding after birth. See, this is why I'm making this video because nobody says anything. They just expect for it to 
to just come naturally to you and for you to think that this is normal and you're not gonna think it because I didn't think it everything that happened I'm just like oh my goodness I want it just normal I don't want to say anything because what if it's not and I'm just like falling apart over here it's yeah it, it was a problem for us for us and because of the hurting and the contractions and all of that they gave me like pain pills they give every mom pain pills that deliver vaginally I, I think don't don't quote me on that one I don't know about c-section this is my first one my first experience and I didn't have a c-section speaking of those pain pills though <clears throat> take them I took them for like the first two days when I was in the hospital then you know we get discharged or whatever I'm walking outside but before I leave they say do you want to take these pain pills because they give you a prescription for them of course but before you leave they're gonna ask you if you want to take your, like, another dose I declined so I was like oh no I'm feeling fine now I'm superwoman I've healed it's not correct they let me go outside okay after the last dosage wore off I was hurting I was hurting bad and I was in the car on the way home in the back seat with the baby and every little bump crack and lump on these South Carolina roads if you were from South Carolina you know our roads are terrible somebody needs to fix that it because <laughs> if you're anything like me they're going to hurt you after birth. I should have took my pills. Take your pills. I don't like taking pills. You know, I'm be honest with you guys. Hi, my name is Mo. I'm 23 years old and I cannot swallow pills. So I have to crush them. And they're disgusting when you put them in applesauce. I have to put them in some water and try to swallow. Listen, it's horrible. I hate taking pills, especially when they don't have like a liquid form. Speaking of which, somebody needs to do that. Some pain pills in a liquid form, like pain liquid or whatever. Do that for us. You know, us folks that have a phobia about swallowing pills. Anyway, every lump and bump hurt, you're gonna hurt. <laughs> Please take your pills. Even after I took my pills, I still hurt. Squatting, sitting, standing, rolling, laying, being, basically. It hurt. Your body just went through trauma. What is wrong with you? Don't be like me. I was stupid, okay? I was really stupid. Take your pills. My boyfriend made me take mine and I felt better. Shout out to Greg. <laughs> Another thing that I was not prepared for was not having a schedule. Um, I'm one of those people that try to like plan everything out like even this YouTube channel even this video like it took me like a month to get everything the way I wanted it to be before I could like record before I could say anything on camera before I could even post it I need a plan I need a set plan I need stuff to do I need a list you know real type A or B or whatever I just need for stuff to go as planned after I plan it that's the downfall when you're a new mom. Nothing goes as planned. Nothing. Nothing on the schedule. You think that I'm able to wash every day? Mm -mm. Sometimes I got to hot spots and keep on going. You know, tea bath. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> keep it going. You do not have an hour to get in the shower. Do not dedicate that. Unless you have help that is sit there, sit there with the baby while you're showering for an hour, like I used to do. It's a no. The baby's hungry. The baby needs to poop. The baby just wants you. You have to go with the flow. Okay. The outfits that you're playing. For the baby at least. And put it on. Take a couple pictures. Baby's gonna lift up. Spit up. Diaper explosion. Pee. You know. I'm warning you now. Cause I almost had like a little panic attack about it. Cause nothing was ever going as planned. I want to do this, 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 
that's it for today because you know i wanted to space everything out or whatever i probably got this done that then that didn't happen didn't happen in the time frame i wanted to didn't happen like i wanted to it is ridiculous if you're like me but you're gonna have to get used to it you think i put on makeup every day no you wonder how long this makeup took five minutes you know why i had just fed the baby just burnt the baby just changed the baby baby laid down gave it to my grandma now i'm doing this video i probably have about i have about 30 minutes before she wakes up i have to do all that over again okay life revolves around baby mm. speaking of life revolving around a baby new mom anxiety is real don't let these people act like they didn't have it i have older people like oh you need to calm down oh you need to do it this way oh why are you so stressed oh let me help you because you seem like you're struggling every mom has new mom anxiety it just happens it happens with your brain chemistry if you want to look at a cool series on netflix i recommend babies it teaches you so much about yourself and about your baby and about parenting and different stuff you know on there it tells you how when you're the main caregiver of a baby your brain chemistry actually changes like there are parts of your brain that turn on that aren't in other people's brains that are parents or main caregivers or guardians or whatever but your brain actually changes your chemistry in your brain and your hormones and stuff if you have a baby it actually changes so it's programmed into you to care about the baby to protect the baby to be all about the baby until the baby grows up basically apparently that mother instinct is strong i didn't know how strong it was before but now i'm a weird mom just like you know my family was like i'm just like why are you coming to my room to see if i'm breathing like that's weird i watch her now i watch her sleep to make sure that she stays breathing it is ridiculous reasons why she's not in her crib but <laughs> that's another video that i'm gonna have to get to soon <laughs> don't judge me okay we're learning together <laughs> anyway i about wrapped up the video because i still have to wash some clothes before she gets up and i probably need to find something to eat so yeah you guys i will see you next time there's more content on the way just wait on it. <laughs> Bye. They let me get a ring light. <laughs> Y'all the best of me. Um. Okay, I am recording. What is that? What does that do? You Bluetooth it in. Yeah, Bluetooth it. You have to remove desk. And then what does it do? You just take a picture with it? You can take a picture, you can start and stop your video with it. Shut up! Mm -hmm. It's the only part I couldn't fit onto there. I didn't want it to fall, so. Shut it up! Thank you. But Bluetooth it to your phone. Sorry to interrupt. Gotta figure out how to do this now. Um, just bio oil. They it will really sell.